Like, would you rather be like coming up like as a team, just collectively coming off of you know four games in the five day stretch, or you wouldn't be like one that's like, hey, if we got some days, we got some days. Oh, I mean, there's just pros and cons both of them. Like, having to work with fresh versus you know having some guys that haven't gotten exposure. What does it say about this staff to be able to be called upon when it's, you know, it's it's not the ideal situation you know, for the team and, and trying to advance and move on to this tournament, but for them to kind of step up and, and do that in those spots when, again, you're not rested, you know, most guys, you know, I'm thinking about you know, three straight days, but at one point, where, like, what does that say about, about you guys and the staff to be able to do that? Yeah, well, I think it shows a lot of confidence for one. Uh, it's easy to succeed and pitch your best whenever your body fills with this. But sometimes you gotta go get it done whenever you don't feel that good or you know, maybe it's not your best game, maybe it's not. Maybe your body's telling you maybe you shouldn't be on the mound, but your name's called to go get a couple outs and it's about there. So I think it shows resilience, a lot of confidence, a lot of trust that our teammates have in each other, and just a lot of guys would love to compete. Remember you told us you watched the uh, National Championship Series in LSU and Florida play, you were like 12 or 13, and now these two teams are back in the National Championship for the first time since then, and now you're a part of it. How does that feel? Oh, uh, it's definitely pretty cool, the fact that it's us in Florida. Uh, I don't know, I guess it's just kind of like a rematch and go at it again. Uh, I mean, they're a good team. We're going to play good baseball in order to win, so it's going to be a lot of fun next two days. There's sheer talent across both these teams, multiple first-rounders and, you know, guys like you who have major league dreams someday. What does that say about college baseball as a whole as somebody who had to make that decision? Uh, I mean, this is the best baseball probably in the world being played the next three days outside of the big league, so... I mean, in front of the most people, you know, the most talent on the field. I mean, you can't find this anywhere else other than the big league. So if you want to fast track and get developed quick and learn how to play in front of big crowds and enjoy the moment and play on the big stage, I would say college is definitely where you want to be, especially in programs like these two. Guys, that you know, we've played a people, we played a lot of games, right? I think we played, we played like what five games, I think. And uh, we played three. We played five games, and uh, we've had a lot of guys trying out there, but there's still guys who are fully fresh in the bullpen, who are fully capable of coming and executing pitches and getting out. Bryce Collins, Sammy Dutton, Christian Little. I mean, I don't want to leave anybody out, but I mean, we have plenty of guys in the that can come in and execute pitches. Help us win ball games. So we have fresh arms, and we have guys that have been out there the last five games that you know are ready to come in and execute and help us win. Also, so we have kind of both sides. Of it. What's it been like watching guys like Nate Ackenhausen and Griffin Herring really have these big moments to be able to extend? Yeah, I mean, first off, it's really, really important for our team to uh, be at the stage that we are, being able to stretch out Nate the way he did. And then, you know, Griffin did us out in the PK. There are two of the main reasons that we're still playing and we're still here today. So, I mean, obviously it's good for LSU baseball, but I mean, I couldn't be happier for them, you know, getting their name out there and doing what they did, uh, all the work that they've done to be able to get to here and uh, come up on the big stage and do what they know they could do. And it's just kind of paying off really cool to watch. You get the, uh, get the sense that guys have been pitched multiple times, that their arms are good, they're recovering, yeah, 100%. Uh, I mean, we work really hard to get our bodies in really good shape and to, uh, you know, especially open arms, to be able to go out there and pitch multiple times. I mean, we have the best size of the You know, the medical staff, trainers, you know, a ton of resources to be able to come in, you know, do whatever we got to do to get our arms ready to go out there and pitch again. So we have guys that uh, have thrown a lot of pitches this week, but 100% will be back ready to help us with the game. What's it like to be a freshman on this team that has so much experience?
come in and be myself. I felt like uh, coming in, I was going to help us win games. I didn't know what it was going to be. You know, JT's a really good shortstop. Gavin, you guys, Jack, and then the pole. And I knew there was a lot of competition on the infield, but I knew that I was going to help us win games this year. I didn't know what it was going to be, but uh, it didn't end up being what I saw, you know? But, uh, I mean, the fact of the matter is I'm playing a part. That's just what I wanted to come in the freshman year and help us win games and help us get to the stage. Yeah, I mean, you had a bigger impact, I think, doing what you're doing and doing what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, did you have to adjust your approach as far as, like, maybe I do need to show a little bit more out there and get that little kind of rolling and fired up? Uh, or was that just you? That's just kind of how I am. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I just, that's just kind of how I am. I put a lot of fire, a lot of intensity, and you whatever. Know, I didn't show as much like an inner squad stuff, so it's a little more low key, but once it's real competition and it's us versus y'all setting and stuff like that, it's, uh, I play with a lot more emotion. Gavin, I'm sorry this up base really is this team. I know Jay talked about when you guys got here, you had a couple days before, you know, everything got geared up, and now limited red. I mean, it doesn't really seem like a break or a short time for us. It affects the team because the team you guys have already established. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'd say having routines in everything. You know, being able to wake up, it gets your body acclimated to be able to approach the day every single day and be able to come out and uh, have your mind ready, have your body ready. If you wake up and don't know what you're gonna do that day as far as uh, playing wise and competing wise, you don't even know what to do. Your body doesn't really know what to do either. So you'll kind of just shock your body. And just being in a routine and being able to go out there every single day and do the same thing and repeat it. Uh, give yourself the best opportunity to succeed for sure. Devin, sorry, sorry to ask, is there anything different about the way Wes has called pitches with y'all in this ballpark? Uh, no, I think that it's been kind of the same thing. Uh, I mean, obviously we've had a lot of success, right? It's just a really pitcher-friendly ballpark, and it gives you a lot of confidence to come in and just compete in the zone and uh, really just give our team the best chance to win is throwing strikes. So, so uh, that's just the message that's been related to us. Like, I mean, I think Thatcher threw a 0-1 fastball pretty much center cut to the nation's leading home run hitter, and he flew out the center field. And uh, bottom of the or top of the 10th inning in a 0-0 elimination game. It's not to be perfect. It's hard to hit here. That's kind of the message that's been relayed. You just go out there and keep the zone. You say that's the message that's been relayed. I think one of the other pitchers a few days ago was sort of saying that same thing. We all got here. Wes was like, dominate the plate, and we're going to be okay. Do you remember that conversation? Yeah, 100%. We've been, we've been talking about it since the end of the Super Regional. That our offense has been preparing to play here all year. You know, we still haven't put up a ton of runs because it's hard to play here, but we work on, you know, hitting low line drives, hitting balls in the infield, you know, hitting behind runners, moving the baseball. When there's a runner on third base, less than two outs, execute and get the job done. So uh, I'm sure the other teams have practiced it as well, but our offense is really trained to play in parts like this. So we feel like we're always at, a, at an advantage. It's very big.